So it looks like Pierre Polyev got banned from Parliament today. I guess uh, he was being a little bit too offensive for the Liberals, but I do have a quick video here uh, that I just wanted to uh, check out with you guys. So we'll have a look at that, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. Winds are blowing on Parliament Hill in a war of words between the leader of the opposition and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Pierre Polyev accusing Melanie Jolie of pandering to Hamas supporters. The exchange prompted the Speaker of the House to silence Polyev. CTV's Mike LeCouture is here, and Mike, take us through what happened. Yeah, Sandy, it all started yesterday, as you mentioned. Pierre Polyev saying specifically, accusing Melanie Jolie of, quote, pandering to Hamas supporters because he says the minister refused to condemn anti-Semitic chants. Now, the Speaker of the House asked Polyev to withdraw his comments, but Polyev has refused. So, the Speaker ruled that Polyev would not be recognized in the House of Commons today. And that's a significant punishment for someone whose job it is to hold the government to account. But Polyev hasn't backed down, further blaming the Trudeau government for a spike in reported hate crimes across Canada and anti-Semitism on the streets of this country. A foreign affairs minister in Canada should find it very easy to condemn those kinds of remarks, but she didn't because she's pandering politically, which is what Justin Trudeau has been doing for the last nine years. Has there been an official liberal response to this? Yeah, Melanie Jolie held her own press conference today where she said in response to Polyev that she does condemn anti-Israel slogans and Hamas repeating that again today. She also added that it's up to all politicians to fight against hate. Have a listen. We all have to do a better job, everyone in the House of Commons. And so we'll continue to denounce any form of anti-Semitism that is happening on our streets, in our schools, against hospitals, synagogues, etc. She also accused Polyev of cozying up to far-right groups and Jolie reiterated that she doesn't believe that the Conservative leader is fit to govern this country. Sandy? Okay, Mike, thank you for this. We're doing everything we can to combat hate. Really, I just made a video a couple hours ago where people were burning the Canadian flag and saying, you know, burn Israel. And they said, you know, death to Canada, death to America. What are you doing to stop that hate? Oh, wait, the answer is nothing. They're not doing anything about this. <clears throat> and it's only gotten worse in nine years. Literally, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. Zero progression at all. We all need to do a better. No, no, you're the government. You're in charge. You're the foreign minister. Do something about this. But they're not. And like Pierre Pauly have said, they're just pandering to the Hamas supporters because... They think, I guess, some of them are going to vote for them. Now, that being said, Hamas uh, protesters have been in Ottawa and Toronto voicing their displeasure with a lot of things, but Justin Trudeau amongst one of them. So I don't even know if they're going to vote for him. That being said, I guess he's thinking, hey, the more people we let into the country, the more people who will vote for me. Well, the problem with that is there's also been a bunch of polls that show that people who come into this country, yes, they are... Trudeau's biggest base, but they're only at 27%. So it's still not going to work, even if he just keeps flooding the streets year uh, for the next year. He's still not going to get enough votes to stop Pierre Polyev from winning a majority. It's not happening. No matter what happens, Pierre Polyev is getting at least, at least 220 seats, maybe a little bit less, but that's, that's the bottom. There's no way he's doing worse than that. And there's no way the Liberals get this, you know, 70 or 80 seats as some people are talking. They're going to be, they're going to be around, they might get lower than what they got in 2011, and it's deserved. And again, Pierre Polyev's not fit. No, no, the current Prime Minister is not fit, fit to be Prime Minister. And we know this because he's done a really, really bad job for nine years. And if you don't believe me, just think about what 2014 and 2015 was like. It was safer. It was cheaper. I mean, there's still been a lot of other problems with, you know, our quality of food and, you know, funding wars and all that kind of stuff. And again, I disagree with the conservatives on that, but they're so much better financially than the, the, the Trudeau liberals. That's what they are. They're not even their own people. They're just Trudeau talking point liberals. That's all they are. 
And we need to make sure that as of when it, whenever the election is, but if we got to wait till next October, everyone show up. There's a very important election uh, provincially in British Columbia, which I believe is in the next couple of days, if not tomorrow. And, you know, it's very close between the NDP and the conservatives. Conservatives, you really got to go out there and show up. If you're an independent, if you don't vote, vote this time because you do not want more. You don't want another term of David Eby, a David Eby. You don't you don't want that. Trust me. Look, I shouldn't even have to tell you this. You live there. So do the smart thing. If you don't think your vote matters, it matters now. It matters now more than ever. So get out there and vote federally, provincially, locally, and get these assholes out of parliament. We need to make sure that the NDP and the liberals eventually lose party status. Under 12 seats. Then they have about as much power as the the Greens or the PPC, which is basically none. And that's what we need. And that's what they deserve. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.